Here's presidential candidate Kamala Harris speaking to a crowd in Pennsylvania, and the weather looks like it's cloudy with a chance of word salad. Here we go. How are you feeling about Pennsylvania? I am feeling very good about Pennsylvania because there are a lot of people in Pennsylvania. And the reversal is me rave, me leaf. Once again, me rave, me leaf. verifiable lies and as of today there is not one member of the united states military who is in active duty in a combat zone in any war zone around the world the first time this Wait, century. what but let's understand so where the fuck are we right now <laughs> <laughs> What I was, should not What I was, should not What I was, should not What I was, So this reversal here, the last three words does tell them. The really interesting thing about it is I think the only reason that we get the words does tell them from Kamala is because it's being recorded ambiently from a cell phone from a TV. So the TV is broadcasting to the entire room, not being recorded directly in that video. So this is a video from the channel Decoy Voice, and he's showing a video that someone took on their phone of a group of people watching TV. And it actually altered the reversal, and I'll show you how. So does tell them, actually, um, when listen when listening to the direct audio from the debate without it being heard ambiently on a TV through a cell phone, it actually sounds much different. So it goes from sounding clearly like does tell them to nos tell do, which is, it just sounds like nonsense. I'll go ahead and show you. Here we go. All right, so I'll show you them side by side. Here is the first way that I showed you, and ask Sir does tell them. I'll show you from Sir does tell them, and listen to the D of the does and the M of the M, and they should sound like they're there. Here we go. Here we go again. And one more time. So the D and the M are definitely there. The, the D of the does is there, and the, um, the M of the, well, the, the M of the them is there. So now listen to this. Um, Sir Nas Teldo. So listen to the last three words. It, look, it sounds a lot like Nas Teldo, and this is the one from the direct feed from, um, you know, that wasn't ambient and wasn't from a room full of people. Here we go. Can I Sir Nas Teldo? Nas Teldo. Yeah, those three words right there, I isolated them. So listen, nas teldo. Here we go. Nas teldo. Let's do it slower. Nas teldo. <laughs> Here we go. Nas teldo. Nas teldo. Isn't that strange? You can listen to it through one video and hear does tell them. Sounds like a clear message. But apparently that's something that sounds like a clear message and was created from a situation that was kind of fake. Um unless you want to go sort of really, really kind of like way out there and assume that different people in different situations might elicit different reversals because of the vibe in the room. But that would be like, whoa, way out there. That's like a kooky maduki random idea. So um, listen to this one more time. Nas Teldo. Nas Teldo. And again. Nas Teldo. And now let's go back for good measure and see if we can find um, the other one does tell them. Here we go. 
Here we go again. Yeah, it's, it's such a clear D and an M. It's, um, it's incredible to me that I went through the first part of experimenting with reverse speech by doing things by holding up a phone to a TV or to an iPad. And um, so not only was I making listening mistakes when I was doing that, just classic listening mistakes, but what I thought that I had gotten right might actually be wrong, and that could be the reason. Um, even the clearest sounding reversals that I might have gotten from that old, um, really cheap system I was using might have been all incorrect. Um, so anyway, that's not what I expected to stumble upon, but it's what I found. So that concludes the video. Thanks for watching. Hello. Hello. Hello.